Is that recording? Yeah. Coco, is that recording? Is it red or is it square still? Okay. So when it comes down to it, like when you guys saw like questions like these, the picture is like, you guys draw nice pictures. It makes the entire question so much easier to solve. It's like you just visually, okay, I solved for this, now I can get this. And like, just right from the get go, if you draw a nice picture, what they're de depicting here, it just makes the entire thing so much easier, right? Because it's just your triangle work, it's just, there's just a little bit more information thrown in there, right? That's all. So here's what you got here you got two office buildings, okay? Okay. The distance between them is 50 meters. Okay. We're just going to assume on the smaller one, the 14th floor is the highest floor. Okay. And what we're going to say is relative to the horizontal which we talked about on friday we have like an angle of elevation right angle of elevation is 33 degrees and this isn't the pictures themselves don't necessarily need to be perfectly drawn to scale but at least like the information's all on there right so we're going to say the angle of elevation there is 30 i'm going to make that smaller 33 degrees, right? And it should try to like go to the top of the building if you can. Okay, anybody lost yet? Or we're okay. Just extracting information, okay? Then The person measures that the angle of depression from the horizontal on the 14th floor, so from here down, is 39 degrees. Okay. Any crazy issues? Are we okay? <clears throat> it wants us to determine the height of the taller building. Okay, what is the height of the taller building? I basically have two pieces here, right? I have one piece here, and I have one piece here. It doesn't look like there's enough information there, but there is one more thing that we can add to our picture. It's the fact that the distance between the two is what? 30. Right? So now I know that the height of the building is going to be the red piece plus the blue piece, right? These form 90 degrees with the building. So I know I can use Sokotoa, right? So I just write out Okay? Now, let's look explicitly. Forget about the bottom half of this picture for a minute, okay? I only care about solving for the red piece at the moment. So don't worry about the blue, like the, the triangle with the blue piece in it. What do you have? I'm after the red piece, but I'm standing here at the 33 degrees. What is the red piece relative to the angle there? If you remember, we're going to stand here and look across and that we say is opposite. Okay. Now. We also know the longest side length is what we call the hypotenuse all the time, right? 
Well, I don't know the information on there, right? So it's of no use to me for this question. I don't know what the hypotenuse is, okay? But I do know what? I know the adjacent side has to be 50, right? Because the distance between the buildings is 50. So I know <clears throat> adjacent is 50. Okay, so you have to go up to your little acronym here, SOKOTOA, and you have to select which of the three trig ratios you're going to use based on the fact that you have adjacent and you're looking for opposite. So you're going to exclude the ones that include hypotenuse, right, because the hypotenuse was useless for us. There's no information, right? So, which one are we going to use then? The tangent, right? So I can go tan of the angle, 33 degrees, is equal to opposite over adjacent, right? Which was opposite, I don't know. Over adjacent, adjacent was 50. So if I solve for the opposite or the red piece, I can multiply both sides by 50. And the opposite is equal to 50 tan 33. Are we okay? All I did was multiply both sides by 50 because the 50 was in the uh, denominator, right? And then they cancel. You're left with just opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put the brackets here. Okay. What's the tangent of 33? You guys got your trick tables? I'll get one. So. You can use calculators, I don't care. Okay. Here's the thing with the calculators. What do you guys do if I ask you for the angle instead? You know what I mean? I can show you how to do that, but there's more of a mix-up using your calculator, right? Kids don't know when to hit tan inverse versus tangent. That's the issue, right? With your table, you go find the angle. Tell me the decimal that corresponds to that, that, that angle. So go find 33 in the column, read across the tangent, right? Sarah. Yeah, you're not always going to have it, but brand new, there's, there's already a lot going on here, right? I can teach you guys to use it, that's just, you guys get it wrong, like you get it wrong. This is, you can't get it wrong with this. It's just, it physically doesn't allow you to do it, if you know how to use it, right? Hitting second function tangent, you're like, when do I do that to get the angle, or do I get it? Do I do it to get the side length? I haven't even shown you, so it doesn't even mean anything. I can show you, but let's we'll use the trick table for this, and I'll show you how to use the calculator after. I guarantee Miss Beers is using trick tables across the hall right now, in the twelve. The kids know how to use calculators too, but. This is mindless. Like, you just look at it and go, okay. Can anybody see, like, when I go to 33 and I read across the tangent, what's the decimal place I get? Um, 
And I'll show you how to get that number after with the calculator. But again, my experience with what's going on in here, we're having a hard time keeping track of transformations, let alone when to do what with a calculator. Right? I'm just trying to minimize the steps for you guys. Just go find the, find the number on the left column. And you're like, okay, am I using tangent? Go read the decimal off. Easy. Right? So what's the math on that? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? 32.47? Yeah. There we get that. That's the red piece, right? Okay. I want you guys to do the exact same thing for the blue piece. Okay, while well, I do attendance here. Okay. It's the exact same thing. You need to know opposite and you know adjacent. Okay? Does anybody get a number? It's the exact same thing, right? I need opposite and I have adjacent, so I'm going to go tan of 39 is equal to opposite over adjacent. It's going to be opposite over 50. So I get 50. Find the decimal. Okay, that's the blue piece. Yeah. You can label them X and Y, yeah. That's okay. We'll do the next question with X and Y's. You can see. It's just the idea of like how to break something into two pieces and then Yes, go go. The, the blue one, yeah. Right? And then what happens to, like, how do I find the, the overall height of the building then? You just add them together, right? So you can see how, like, you can create two different triangles here. And then from there, you can just do the math on 
each one individually and then combine the answers at the very end. So the total height What's that answer? There you go. And you can say, therefore, the total height. Any questions? Well, one more to do. Okay. Again, these are probably these are a little bit harder because you got two triangles in one picture. We're combining information. Okay. So here you go. You got two helicopters, right? They're both hovering at uh, a height or an altitude of 800 meters. Okay. So here are my helicopters, okay? They're both at a height of 800 meters, okay? That line's just there to show you the same height, okay? <clears throat> then they're trying to land on a helipad, right? Again, the picture's not uh, necessarily drawn to scale, right? Okay. The pilot the pilot on helicopter X determines if it's fifteen degrees to the helipad. Okay. And Y determines Nineteen degrees. Okay, and this question wants you to find out how far apart the two helicopters are. Okay, this blue piece. How are we going to do that? This is a good segue to what we're doing this afternoon, actually. Kind of. Okay, don't forget that like the 800 meters is still over here too. What exists down here at the bottom? A 90 degree, right? It's also a 90 degree there. This is kind of like the last question, right? I'm going to like... That blue piece up top is going to be a combination of, let's say, the green piece down here on the bottom. Right? And also, <clears throat> the purple piece. Or, you could label them as X and Y. Okay? What's the angle here? Sorry, I'll move this over here. What's the angle right here? Do we know how to find that? Okay, how did you get that? Right. So at the top here, we have 90 degrees, right? So it's 90 minus the 15 from the top angle, right? Gives us an angle of 
75 in here. They had to have to add to 90, right? Same idea on the other side. What did you get for the angle on the other side? Good, 71. Okay, now, same question as the last one, just with different information. So why don't we write, we'll write Sokotoa here for a second. Do I know anything about the hypotenuse? No, okay, so let's, let's write that off, right off the top, right? So sine and cos are out because they have the, the hypotenuse in them, right? I do know something else though. Actually, the same question. I didn't even make this hard. I'm gonna pick tangent, right? Because it has opposite and adjacent. If I'm standing here, Y is gonna be opposite. Same thing here, this is gonna be opposite. And then I have the adjacent piece. Okay, on both of them. So let's write out two statements. Let's do the purple one first, or it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go the tangent of 71 is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is gonna to equal to opposite over 800. So 800 tan 71 has to equal opposite, okay? And then that's for the purple piece, right? Then we'll do the green piece. Same calculation though. Tangent of 75 has to equal opposite over adjacent, which is equal to opposite over 800. So it's 800 tan 75 equals opposite. Okay. So we just need two numbers and then we're done. We'll add them together. That's the difference. Like that's the, how far the helicopters are apart. Okay. Okay, I'd show you guys how to use the calculator, but it interrupts the video. It kind of messes up. I'll do some more after, okay? Well, I'll show you how to do it after, okay? So you're just gonna go to your table. You're gonna find the decimal value for 71 under the tangent column, which happens to be 2.9. So we get 800 multiplied by 2.9042. So opposite to, I don't know, somebody can do the math on that. Two thousand three hundred thirty-three. Okay, and underneath uh, the green one, we're going to have 800 multiplied by tan of 75 is 3.7. Three, two, one, and so opposite here is what? Okay. So what's the total distance? Those two numbers added together. Okay. We could even call it line segment x y because we know what how to do that now. Okay, that's. The blue piece, the highlighted blue, so we can see. What's the final number?
Okay. Two helicopters are 5,309.01 meters. How many kilometers is that? Pretty close to five. Five kilometers away from one another. Okay. You guys go. Okay. We'll take some time after to work on some of those homework questions. I can help you guys around. It's a little bit harder just because there's two triangles going on there. Okay. Um,